Residents of a neighborhood in Wylam held a vigil today for their friend Nicole Wallace. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lee Garner. Wallace was found dead in a burned out vehicle on Fifth Avenue in Wylam just two weeks ago. CBS 42 News reporter James McConaughey was at the vigil. He joins us now in the studio with more, James. Neighbors say Wallace was a kind and well liked resident in her Michigan Avenue neighborhood. They say her death was tragic and she will be greatly missed. It's just unbelievable. On October 10th, the body of Nicole Wallace was found in a burning vehicle on Fifth Avenue in Wylam, just blocks from her friends and neighbors on Michigan Avenue. We all sad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's um, it's just an unbelievable thing that happened. Devastating for the whole community. Birmingham police took Wallace's ex-husband, Demetrius Wilbert, into custody. Lieutenant Sean Edwards said the two had a history of domestic violence, but that the divorce had been finalized in September. Wilbert is the prime suspect in Wallace's murder. We, we would never thought this was going on in our neighborhood. Today, Wallace's neighbors gathered at her home on Michigan Avenue with some of her family to remember Wallace and celebrate her life. We, we really wanted to do something for the kids and the family. Our, our hearts are just broken. We just wanted to let them know we loved her, her and the kids, and we appreciated her as a neighbor. We are so overwhelmed that she was so loved this way and we are glad to know that she was loved this way and we're just thankful for all that everybody is doing for her. The community gathered for prayer, released balloons and lit candles in memory of Wallace. It does help but you know nothing will ever replace the pain that we feel right now. We will always remember her, never forget her. Marissa Simmons says she hopes the tragedy will convince others in Wallace's situation to get help. Domestic violence, letting the community know that um, it's out there and we need to do something about it. Don't be silent. Tell somebody and and get help. Simmons says she plans on making the memorial an annual event in her community. Live in the studio, James McConathus, CBS 42 News.